hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are good guys today we're going to be reacting to charlie king exposes the flaws in feminist logic this should be interesting because trust me feminism is not what it used to be in our present day society but let's get right down to this without wasting any more time how do you believe feminism should be defined and do you think it can be reconciled with conservatism well, so yes and no. Uh, it depends. There's first, second, and third wave feminism. First wave feminism is that women should have a right to vote. Second wave feminism had a lot of problems, which is the female liberation movement, um, that women should no, not just be at home, but they should get into the workforce. Third wave feminism is complete garbage, which is toxic mo modern day feminism, um, which is irreconcilable with any decent society, which is far more about hating men than actually respecting women. Um, and you guys all know the type of that kind of feminism. Um, there are some good aspects of second wave feminism, but at the core of feminism, we have to ask the question is, has it made American women happier? And it hasn't, actually. Uh, American, American women are more suicidal, more depressed, more anxious uh, than they were prior. And I believe, and again, we get in trouble for saying this, is that you, you, know, you should have the agency and liberty to do whatever you want. But many women, a majority, like 90 plus percent deep down, have this urge to reproduce and to raise children. And we are telling them to forsake that and go become a CEO of a shoe company. And we're wondering why so many young ladies are miserable and angry because they're they're at war with something within them that they actually want to do, which is to have a relationship, have children and nurture um, future humans into this world. Um, I would like to propose an alternative perspective. Uh, I'm conservative, but I'm also a feminist, and I think that a better way to propose feminism in the public media would be not to eliminate having children and tell women that they shouldn't have children, but to figure out your career first before you decide to like settle down because you can't really undo that once you have yeah, kids. So I, I think it's the exact opposite. I think you should have kids first, then do your career, because wh which one has a timetable on it? True, but like once you have kids, you're committed to that and you can't really so guys if i were to be asked that question i think i would uh, i'd rather focus on my career path first before settling down and i have my reasons so you see the thing is when it comes to women at least from what i've known so far when it comes down to women women who settle down early and uh they don't really, really um end up like focusing on things that they may have put in mind to do now i'm going to explain when you have when you settle down and then you give birth you have a child now that child becomes your responsibility and there's some things that you cannot just do because you are responsible for that child i mean like let's say you have to go to work if you have like a nine to five job you leave the house around let's say your work starts by 8 a.m and then your child is like one who goes to school you have to wake that child up prepare that child's lunch take them to school before you head to your workplace and then your work closed by four and the child's school closed by two you have to find how like you just be so stressed and so you just be so stressed so the main thing is uh i would rather focus on my career path before i settle down look i have so many people who have told me things about okay let, let's not go far let's just take for example my mom you see my mom uh, made up her mind that she was going to go to um, university when she got after she got married like that was the agreement between her and my dad don't worry even after you get married you're gonna go to school that's no problem immediately she got married she took it and she gave birth to my elder sister and then all those all the responsibility was in her and my dad was always working and like there was no just time for her to go to school no longer after she gave it to me and then the remaining came after so up till today she has not still gone to school but it's something that she has in her mind now what am i trying to pull out there i'm trying to say that you don't really because of the responsibility you have to take care of a child once you settle down like you literally most women give up their dreams once they give birth why because they feel like their life now is just the family the fact that you have to be there for your children you have to be there for your husband you have to be there for your family it's more like they don't even have a life anymore so my advice to people is to you know what you want to actually do i mean for me i'm going to want to focus on the career path first before i settle down and then when i settle down i'll have to balance my career with my family life so that it doesn't contradict 
basically. So I think that's like the best advice I can give and put out there. But you guys tell me what you think about this. Like I would want to resonate more with you guys. So don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. You know I love you guys.